Well, hey everybody, welcome to the Crystal Crawford Show. I'm your host. Guess who? <laughs> I am sitting outside in southern Ontario, summer, but it's kind of rainy today and still very muggy. So if you can see me, you'll notice me sweating, glistening, glistening. And if you can't see me, I'll probably talk about glistening. Oh boy. I called this week's episode the access tools that have changed my life the most. And um, I really, I'm really, really glad I'm doing this and excited that you're here and excited that you're listening. Um, I have a foundation class coming up this weekend and I mean, that's in real time. So when you're listening to this, there's going to be other opportunities and invitations. Hey guys. Um, but I really, really have been, I've been wanting to do an episode where I really talk about like the key things that I've, I've used to get myself here. Um, access for those of you guys that don't know, Hey Loretta, hi Jazza, nice to see you. Access is a big, weird body of work and it works like it's weird and it's wild and it works and when you first you, you stumble on it however you do like you'll stumble on it through videos like this or you know through some random talk show or some person listing access consciousness consciousness as their employer like I did um, and then you'll take yourself in the direction that you go and that's how that works and I remember uh, listening to Gary Douglas, who's the founder of Access, talk about that. And he's like, when I created this, I wanted to create a world of choice and a world of freedom. And I wanted to give that possibility to the world. So when you find Access, you have a world of choice and a world of freedom. And when I first found it, um, I was fucking confused, but I couldn't get it out of my world. And so one of the tools that I've used to completely change my life is the very, very first thing that I ever had done when I first found Access and the thing that I use oh, at least once a week for like six hours and that's the Access Bars. Um, I do a lot of stuff online and I have a lot of you guys find me online which I think is amazing and some of you guys have done bars but I'm, I'm finding that a lot of people that have found me have never done a bars class and um, you can't change everything about you energetically and not include your body and still have ease and so access bars is probably the tool that I've used to change my life more than anything else I would say that if all you ever do with access consciousness is get your bars run once a week your whole life will be different so it's 32 points on your head when somebody lightly touches them defrags your hard drive and my partner is actually not into access at all. He's into me and he loves the results of consciousness, um, but using the tools is not really his thing. We still run his bars about once a week because when he gets his bars run, he's just a different, he's more him. He's more relaxed, he's more at ease, um, his work is easier, and when he's especially stressed, I'll lay him down more often. Not like that, yes like that, but also with bars. Um, so access bars is definitely definitely one of the greatest gifts I've ever given my life and ever given my body the second thing that I wanted to talk about was that when I first found access consciousness um, I was really really struggling with relationships of all kinds um, I had had a lot of difficulty with my family relationships um, most especially my mother and for those of you guys that have followed my show for any length of time you've heard me talk about her um, but but with everybody like I I woke up hey Maruna I woke up every morning let's see when I found access I was 38 I'm gonna be 45 this year I'm gonna be 45 next month oh my goodness um, I would I had woken up every single morning from the time I was 25 to 38 so for whatever that is math is hard 13 years feeling guilty about leaving my siblings. I'm the oldest of five. Hi, Marianella. So anyway, so I had a, I had a, I had a smorgasbord of relationship things and I was really at my wits end. I was, I had just finished or ended a second marriage. So I had family trouble as far as I could see. I'd had relationship failure as far as I could see. Um, so I was really, really, really looking for, hey you, hi Rebecca, um, hi Don. <laughs> yes. So I was really looking for tools 
to fix me in relationships. And I say it like that because that's what I thought was wrong. I thought that I was the problem. So one of the first tools that I clung to like a fucking badger, like a honey badger, was interesting point of view. Hi, Mara. Interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Now, that tool is embedded in, hey, Ava. That tool is embedded in a book called The Ten Keys to Total Freedom. And if you are brave enough to study and apply that book to your life, you'll have total freedom. Um, I find in the beginning, it's, it's, a, it's not light reading, right? Like it's one of those things where you like read a page and need your bars run and read a page and need to have a shot. And so anyway, but I took a foundation class, which was a four day class. And we, we lightly touched on the 10 keys to total freedom. And one of the tools that we took, we, you know, we talked about was interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Now, when you take a foundation class, it's four days of like so many things and you're totally different after and everything, all the things. So it's easy after the class to sort of feel overwhelmed, especially if you've got a lot of stuff that you want to change. So what I tell everybody and what I did is I took one tool and I used the shit out of it for a while. And interesting point of view, I have the point of view was like my favorite go to tool that I started to use to change everything. And that is one of the key things about the tools of access consciousness is that you can literally take one of them and change everything. But then there's a billion of them. So you can change all kinds of things in all kinds of ways. You have all kinds of choice. But truly, if you just took one and used it over and over and over and over and over, you would have total freedom. So I'm gonna tell you the way this tool works that I didn't actually know in the beginning that I learned later. And here's, here's what it is if you wanna take yourself on an interesting point of view journey. For every thought and every feeling and every emotion and every intensity in your body and every point of view that runs through your head. You pause, notice that it's there, pause and go, interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view until the energy of that point of view shifts and that's it, you do that for three full days. Now listen, if you are currently, or anything like I was, if we start getting, if we start getting rained on, I'm just gonna run inside. Um, you will have so, you have so many thoughts, feelings, and emotions running through your head, it's like a circus in there. And that's fine, that's fine. It's gonna be a little bit of work. But for me, like, it was like every five minutes or every 10 minutes I was upset about something or angry about something or annoyed about something or I was overthinking something or I had feelings about something. I was worried about something, stressed about something. I had so much shit running through my world. And so I grabbed onto that tool like it was a fucking lifeline. And I did a post this morning about foundation, which said, or about this show, which was like, it doesn't matter where you're starting. It doesn't matter if you're starting from a deep dark hole, which is where I started from or if you just want to like feel a little bit better or if you just want better relationships or you want a little bit more money or whatever it is you want, right? Or you want to find that source, which is you and, you know, have life worth living, whatever that is, what, whatever it is for you. Every single one of these tools can empower you to have that. It starts at the level of where you're currently being out of control. And for me, I came into access a fucking whirling mass of thoughts and feelings and emotions and points of view and worry and stress and all the things, literally every, every feeling that you could possibly name, I was doing it 100% of the time. And so I was a raging circus inside. So I had to get really aggressive with myself in order to get myself to any sort of sense of space and peace. And it started with this tool. And, and that is the thing about the tools of access is like, it's one thing to read the books or watch videos. And I'm so glad you guys watch my videos. And it's another thing to take the tool and really, 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 really apply it to your life. And so that was one of the tools that I clung to like a motherfucker. The third one that really occurs to me that I started also adding to change all the relationship, um, yeah, the Raging Circus. Yeah, that would be a good book title. Changing the Raging Circus. No, just Raging Circus. I love that. 
Okay, so the third thing I really started using to change all my relationship shit, and I'm gonna lump it for a minute because it was such a glump when I started. I used a tool that goes like this. All the oaths, vows, swearings, fealties, commealties, commitments, curses, and pacts that I have to fill in the blank to my mom throughout all lifetimes, time, space, dimensions, and realities, I revoke, recant, rescind, reclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy, and uncreate it all. Times a godzillion. Right, wrong, get that pop pop online, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Remember I mentioned like 10 minutes ago? Yeah, I'll talk about that, Jamie. Remember I mentioned that um, I would wake up every morning and I'd feel guilty about leaving my family? I had loops running. I had like Mobius strip loops. And what I mean by that is a Mobius strip is like a, an infinity loop, like it just never ends. So I couldn't get myself off the tracks. You know, I was like worried about them and then I felt guilty about them, then I was mad at them and then I was irritated about it and then I was sad. And that's the thing when you're in these fucking feeling loops, there's no way off the track except just to jump off. So I had to grab onto some tools that started breaking apart the loops. So I remember, um, this is like right after my foundation class, I got an app on my phone called Voice Loop. It's $1.37 in the iPhone app store. And I literally like spoke into it and I said all the oaths, vows, swearing, fealties, commilties, and commitments that I have to my mom in any lifetime, time, space, dimension, or reality, I revoke or can't rescind, relax, renounced it, whatever it is. Revo revoke or can't rescind, reclaim, renounce, denounce, destroy, and uncreate at all times a godzillion, right, wrong, good, bad, pod, puck, online, shorts, boys, and beyonds. And that's the clearing statement, and that's a magic wand. And go to theclearingstatement.com if you need to find out more about it. So I did that for each one of my family members. My mom, my dad, my brothers, I have two brothers and two sisters. I put each one of them in that thing, and I looped that for two weeks. I'm not even shitting you that the thing that I had struggled with for probably actually most of my life, up to 38 years old, left in two weeks. I didn't, I stopped waking up with those loops. So I started seeing progress and I, that's really the thing that kept me coming back to these access consciousness tools is that stuff that I had not been able to shift or change for years in therapy, EMDR, Christianity, Bible school, prayer, um, body work, this other BIE modality. I mean, all of it helped a little bit, but nothing stayed different. So as I started like picking one tool and really using it, the shit out of it, I started being different. So that was the third tool that I just like grabbed a hold of and didn't let go. I like used the shit out of that. I guess the fourth, I mean, there was a lot of in between things, but I'm sort of looking at the very key things. The fourth thing that really sticks out to me was the tool or the set of tools or the tool that I used to start to change money for myself because I was a waitress making I was, a, I was a high paid waitress. I, I was running the place. I ran the bar. I got all the best shifts. I also managed. So I got, you know, a cut of everybody's stuff and I, you know, that's nice. But I was capped income wise at about $3,500 and I was stuck to a brick and mortar place. Like when you waitress, you have to be there. They need you. And what happened after foundation is I started to discover, well, right after foundation, I, I was like, I fuck this. I'm going to be a certified facilitator. Well, being a certified facilitator with access is a bunch of classes and a bunch of money and a bunch of traveling, none of which I had and had no idea how to create, like zero idea. So I started asking what it would take for that to be different. That's probably my, the, the fourth key thing. And then the fifth key thing is this other thing I'm going to tell you. I started asking, what would it even take for this to be possible? Now, I, I told this in some video that I did yesterday about how foreign question was to me. So when you start getting into the world of access, we talk a lot about being the question, asking questions. We flip out a lot of questions into our videos and into the world, you know. And 
that was as foreign as Chinese to me when I first started. I was literally, I remember the, the very, 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 very first time that I had an interaction with an access facilitator who actually lived in London where I'm living now. So I'm full circle seven years later. Um, so <laughs> she, we were going back and forth about where do I start? And she gave me a couple of choices and I chose a session, a bar session. And then she's like, cool, how does it get better than this? How does it get better than this? Which is one of the very first questions that we as facilitators sort of ever teach or put out to you as something you could use. Well, I didn't know what the fuck questions were. I was used to questions being something you journal, you answer, you find out about, you research. You know, if somebody's gonna ask me a question, I'm gonna find them an answer. So, um, I literally, I actually totally remember this because I was living, I had just left my ex-husband. I was living in a one bedroom. I was living in a bedroom in a big house and I had done a lot of journaling in my day. So how does it get better than this? I wrote it at the top of a page on a journal, in a journal, and I started journaling how it could get better, which is kind of cool, you know, I'm like a keener. Um, but I didn't get that you could literally just ask that and allow the universe to contribute how it got better. Like if you asked that and you were willing to receive how it got better, it would change things. So anyway, as I got more into the tools and I got my bars run more and I took a bars class and I started like being kind of washed in this new possibility of asking questions, um, one of the things that was introduced was this phrase, well, what would it take? I'm an extremist, I'll admit it. So I took that what it would take, what would it take to heart? And so I started asking that for everything. Well, you know, in looking at like wanting to be a certified facilitator and the money required and the time and the traveling, I was, I just, I had no idea where to start because I didn't know how to do that. I'd never done anything like this before. So I was like, well, what would it take? What would it take? And then I sort of added to that and I'm like, well, what could I do or be that's different here? And I didn't get it. I didn't understand how it worked. But what started to happen is I became an energy that pulled stuff to me. So I ended up pulling to me some assistance financially. And then I pulled to me another um, like certified facilitator that needed my, my skill sets and, and again and again and again. And, and I started you know, running more bars and I started having bars classes. And so from a space of having no idea how to do it, I just started choosing it and asking, well, what would it take? So that was sort of the beginning of the journey. And, and then it became time to really, really, really change money. Because to make a really, really long money story short, I, I started to be able to receive and create money in a different way, which was miraculous in and of itself. That should probably be a deep exploration in 18 videos. Um, but, what I, but what I started to notice is that I could create money and then I always got back down to zero. And then I could create money only when I needed it. And then I got back to zero. Actually, I would get down to less than zero because I would get into my overdraft. And I would spend my 10% account, which is a whole other video of like getting that set up. So I would get myself down to less than zero money. And then I could always dig myself out again, but I would let it go back down into the hole and then dig myself out and back down into the hole. And that went on for like almost three years. And I remember the moment where I was on some money call, thank God, thank God for other facilitators. Um, and somebody said something, of course, I don't remember what it was. And it occurred to me that I could actually choose something else. I could actually choose a different bottom line or I could choose to never get below a certain amount or whatever. And it was this really, really novel thing. And that's when I started to recognize that the fundamental place from where I functioned with money was the thing that was creating my reality. And I had heard Gary Douglas enough times by then say, if you want to totally change your financial reality, you got to go through the How to Become Money Workbook a hundred times. Guess what was the one thing I had never done? Go through the How to Become Money Workbook. And listen, that workbook is a bit of a pain in the ass. It's like to really go through it, it takes like four hours in one sitting. So it's not a short commitment, right? Like 
it's like starting to work out again, right? Like it's, I'm, I've, that's what I've started again. I'm working out like almost an hour a day. And when I looked at it and I thought about it and I, you know, fretted about working out an hour a day, of course it was harder. Now that I'm choosing it, it's like so life-giving and changing everything and contributing all these energies. And, but when you're only thinking about doing something that seems like a pretty fucking big commitment, then it's like, oh my God, that's gonna eat my life and I don't have time for that. But what, what occurred for me is that it finally got to the point where I didn't, I, there was no, I wasn't gonna be able to get to where I wanted to go without committing to me in that way. So I fucking did it. And I, listen, when I choose something, I'm a honey badger. I'm an extremist, I'm an extremist. <laughs> if I choose it, I'm in. So I did that four hours a week and I took a bunch of other people with me just cause that's what kept me accountable. Um, for like, I don't know what my commit commitment was, but I, I remembered eight straight weeks and I think I did it for 12 and then I did it some more after that. I've gone through it 35 times now. It's time to do it again. But that choice changed what was available to me financially forever. And maybe that's of this life is that there were these very, very key choices I made with very, very, key, very, very key tools that they didn't just like put a band aid on something. They didn't just like make me feel better. They changed where I was functioning from forever. So I, every time I choose this or I find an area of my life where it's simply like not working. I know that if I choose to pull up, take a tool, one tool and use it on that thing that I will have change forever. I'm never going to be the same after I do that. And for me, that was essential because about a year before I found access, I, I was like this close to killing myself. And I, you know, I guess a lot of us have gotten there and maybe some of you have tried. I was so done. I was so done because I couldn't make my life work. I was unhappy and sad all the time. I cried all the time and people that know me now are like, what? All the time. I was, I was in a constant fight with my husband. Um, I literally remember like driving home going, I don't know how to be happy. Everybody else can be happy and I don't know how to be happy. So for me, these tools working in a way that was permanent was essential. And if they hadn't, I would have been out because I needed, I needed a lifeline. I needed something that was actually going to give me me. Only I didn't know that's what I needed. I just knew I needed something that was going to make this shit work. So I am living, walking, fucking proof that if you are demanding enough of yourself and you just pick one access consciousness tool, you will be different forever. Now, in between all these choices in my daily life for taking one tool and using the shit out of it, I added to my life dynamically. I added ton, I've taken a hundred live access classes so far and I have read and studied all the books and I have run clearing loops at night and I have, I mean, I have a session still every week with another facilitator. Like, I use these tools as if my life depends on it because it does. And now I use these tools because I am the source of something great. I am the source of it. And I want access to it and I want the world to have access to it. And so there's always more and there's always more expansion. So let me see if there's like one more I can share with you before I go. There is, what is that? You know, honestly, this is weird that this is the fifth one or the sixth one or wherever we're at. I would say that the entity tools were probably one of the key, probably another one of the key sets of tools that I added to my life. And the entity tools are introduced in foundation. So if you haven't taken foundation class, get your ass to a foundation. There's facilitators all over the world. Um, I'm having one this weekend. If you are last minute and you want to jump in, it's online, but doesn't have to be with me. You'll know your body will know 
who to get it with. But so the entity tools are introduced in foundation and that's really where I was introduced to them. And I could tell you so many stories about my first conversations in and around entities because I didn't know I had awareness of them. I didn't know that so many things I didn't know. But the reason that changed so much for me is because when I walked into a foundation class, I discovered that I wasn't the first being in this body. And that's a whole other conversation. There were other beings in there with me. And here's why that's so huge. Because when you have multiple beings in your body, you have no access to you. You have no access to your awareness. You have no access to what's really true for you. You have no access to the choices that are available to you because you've got eight other or however many other beings in there vying for choice and awareness and all that stuff. So in the class, we cleared like eight other beings out of my body. So I was fucking different after the class. And then the tools that I got in the class around entities gave me the power and the awareness to go, oh my gosh, when I'm not being me, I can ask, well, who am I being? And am I being someone else, something else? And is that someone else in my body? And then I can clear them. And I cannot tell you, oh my God, I cannot tell you how many situations have cleared and changed in like microseconds after clearing an entity. I can't even tell you. The private sessions that I do now, I would say nine times out of 10, the moment that we clear an entity, the session is like there's space and ease and possibility again and people walk away able to choose. Like it's crazy how relevant entity conversations are to your life. And so I got my first taste of those in foundation and now I'm a talk to the entities facilitator and I've taken tons of classes and I'm much more skilled and you know, I have so much more to offer in that area, but just what I got in foundation changed my life. And I didn't even realize like how much I used entity clearing and communicating and receiving tools until last year when I became a facilitator. I'm like, I use these all the time. Like before I ever sort of made it a thing and a focus and a specialty, um, they were, they are and have been so pivotal to changing moments in the last seven years for me and giving me back access to me. And I literally have so many stories, even post access tools and being a facilitator where I felt suicidal, cleared an entity after three months different in five minutes. Um, so yeah, that's probably my last contribution in this live is like, there's so many things Access presents to you the possibility that the weird stuff actually might be the stuff that sets you free. And it's stuff we're not shown when we come into this world, um, stuff we're not empowered with, but when you truly apply it, when you get aggressive with it and you truly apply it, it can change everything forever. So my question for you is what what have you known should be possible for you that you haven't yet chosen? And what can you add to your life, whether it's a tool or a class or, you know, a facilitation with a facilitator? Man, that one session can sh save you 10 years of pain and suffering. That four day class can change the trajectory of your entire future. So, what would you like to have? and where will you need yourself next? And please, if you got anything out of this video, share it with all of your friends. Everybody, from my point of view, everybody should know that there's a different possibility in the world. I am a walking, talking example of the results of using the shit out of these tools. And if you just use the ones that I've talked about in this video, you'll change your life, and there's so many more. So I'm so grateful for you guys. Please share this if you got anything out of it. And um, I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>